So in this video, we will start with creating the reminder entity and then look at how we can list them and you know have a form which allows us to add a new reminder or maybe close certain reminders and do other kinds of stuff. So let's get started with the code. Go into my terminal and let's just first of all add a new model. So it's PHP artisan make model. Uh, PA is my short form. Okay, so PHP artisan make model. Um, I need a migration. I need a controller as well. For and if I'm, uh, you know, we will have the models folder because if you remember, all our models are going inside the models folder. So models, sorry, slash reminder. Okay, with this you know, new command, what we will have is a controller, a blank controller called reminder controller. Okay, we will have a model inside our models directory and we will have a migration. So to start with, why don't we populate our migrations um, file with all the columns necessary. So First is unsigned integer leads ID. Okay, uh, why don't we quickly you know, skip the columns that I am typing and then you know come back with what exactly we are doing. All right, so we have two unsigned integers which will be you know which will work as foreign keys. So one is referencing the lead ID, lead ID, and the one, the other one is the user ID. The you know, uh, user who cre created that reminder. Then there are two text fields. One is the reminder text field itself. Okay. And the second one is a note. Now, what we are thinking is whenever the user, um, you know, while doing any follow up, whatever is the um, discussion will be added uh, as part of the reminder. Okay, so for example, someone calls me, and so the outcome is that, um, you know, call me after two days. So that's something which will go in into that reminder, and then, you know, when when that follow up happens, that comes as a note. Okay, so that's our second field, and the status of each reminder will be captured. Things like incomplete or pending completed things like that okay i decided not to do go with booleans because then it will unnecessarily increase uh, sorry about that so i decided not to use boolean values and instead uh, use a string because then it allows me to you know very specifically handle all the states and have a very easy way of managing those states so you know, if if required i can definitely index it as well but right now i have only indexed lead id because i think that is the only where condition which will be applied other than that i don't think i'll be uh, ever um, right now i don't see any requirement for me to you know uh, do a reminder um, with status okay but however i missed one thing which is a date field so it's date reminder date how can we have a reminder without a date field so i'm sorry about that and it can be nullable so the uh, i am doing all these you know reminder note and reminder date be as nullables uh, nullables because um, when a, a lead is created and a follow up is done right I may want to create a new reminder while we close the previous one. So that's where what will happen is an empty reminder will be created and the user will need to fill up those details. So that's where I will need these columns to be nullable. I know it can um, create a problem, but we will handle it in the application uh, and not in the database. So anyways, this is my table. Okay. I have these columns. Let's uh, also set up the model. I am saying that all the fields uh, are not guarded. 
Amen. Okay. So the guarded uh, is an empty array. So uh, when I'm doing a create, I don't uh, have any problem. Okay. And after that, I need some you know basic data to start my development okay now if i see i have a few leads in here right why don't we also add some reminder uh, dummy data so i'll do that and then we will pick it up from there all right so i have Currently, quite a few leads. I have you know, copy pasted the cedar, so I have quite a few leads. And at the end, I also have um, how many? One, two, and three. Three reminders. So let me do a, a refresh of my migrations. Um, no, because I am still in development mode, I think I don't need to worry about um, you know refreshing my migrations. However, I could have easily done PHP artisan migrate and then PHP artisan seed to you know add that data. You can do that, but because we are doing a fresh development, uh, no, a uh, fresh development, and we are still not, we haven't still yet uh, hit the production, so we can destroy our database and recreate it at any point of time. That's how I prefer to do my development work. So yeah, so we have some data in here and the next thing which we need to do is we should be able to get the reminders data when we are loading a lead right so we'll go into the leads model and we will define our relation <coughs> So we will have a relation called reminders and this is return this has many because a lead can have many reminders okay and additionally I want that whenever those reminders are um, you know being queried they should be uh, done with an order by descending ID so that the latest reminder which was added comes on top because I can have multiple completed reminders but the latest one is the pending reminder which I need to action so the rest is history the top one is something which I need to action upon okay so that's how the UI will be so let's see how we can get the UI into working we will create a new route so that we can uh, show the uh, reminder so let's go into web.php and first things first I think we need to show the listing of the reminder not as a new URL but in here right so leads view so lead controller view this is where we are loading the lead now I need to additionally get the reminder right so we need to load that relationship in our already um, loaded model right this is where we you know using the route model binding if you remember in my web.php we have leads view lead ID right this is our URL lead view lead ID so that has a model route model binding and that's the reason I'm getting my uh, lead directly however I will not get my reminders uh, data so how do we do that we do lead load and we add the relationships so reminders with this in place let me open up my console hit refresh and let's see if we are able to get that lead view lead is coming as a prop and we can see here that the reminder is visible 
right? So the only thing that I need to do now is handle this view. Um, and that is something which we will do in our next video. But as you can see, we are able to uh, basically create a model and you know, set up the relationship and in the controllers uh, when I was loading the lead I just you know, told Laravel that you know I want to get the lead for sure but I also want you to load this relationship and with that what happened is I start I started getting the reminders object as well so now it's completely view level code where we need to handle the display of the reminders which we are going to do in our next video so thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel